round up a big story from the week, the ongoing Russian probe investigation is heating up with fired FBI Director James Comey set to take the stand on Thursday. White House insiders say there's no plans to hinder Comey's testimony. This despite speculation, the president may have been trying to seek executive privilege to prevent Comey from testifying. The New York Times reporting that one official says President Trump wants Comey to testify because the president has nothing to hide. Comey was fired last month as FBI director amid an investigation into connections between Russia and the Trump campaign. So that's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also weigh in on Twitter. Just tweet me at Sally Mac, Fox 26. Joining us now live in our studio is Fox 26 senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, Democratic media consultant Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist and public policy analyst Jackie Bally. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So are we, when we see him testify this week uh, before the Senate, is President Trump going to try to stop it? It doesn't appear so, but we'll have to wait and see uh, what the president does. I think he's going to have a tough time uh, claiming executive privilege under these circumstances if he does for, for two reasons real quickly. First is the president's been talking about it openly with reporters. That waives any privilege that you may or may not have had. And second, James Comey doesn't work for the president anymore. and The president's going to have a hard time telling him he can't do it. But other than that, we've had reports, Jackie, that he's going to let him testify. Is this going to shed new light on this uh, allegation that the president may or may not have obstructed justice? Yeah, uh, so we, the president, not, nothing's going to come out of this tes testimony, at least not saying anything damaging, saying that the president was an obstructionist or that he interfered with an investigation or he committed a crime because if the president did do something that was even borderline of criminal activity, it would have been and James Comey's responsibility to report it at that time. The fact that um, he is now going to testify, the president and his close advisors have said they want him to testify. James Comey, as the leader of the investigation, doesn't have a duty to go immediately and say something in the middle of an investigation. If the president, if he thought the president was obstructing justice, he gets to continue that investigation. And he did report it on his memos, <laughs> which he's likely to read at this testimony. Uh, James Comey is uh, Donald Trump's kryptonite when it comes to his base. His his base is likely to trust what James Comey says, and this is the beginning of the end uh, of the Donald Trump presidency because the erosion of his 39% support starts on Thursday when Comey testifies. Well, I don't know that, that Comey's testimony is going to necessarily be the end of the presidency, but it is going to be uh, illuminating for his base to hear him say, if he says, the president asked me to stop this investigation. It, it will not be the ending of his presidency. That's wishful thinking for a lot of people. But, um, you know, you've had, like, top Democratic leaders like Feinstein and Maxine Waters. They've said that they don't see any kind of... Um, evidence that the president has done anything wrong. James Comey has said, uh, or at least his memos has said there was maybe some inflection or some tone, but that doesn't mean the president did anything wrong to, or at least tried to stop an investigation. Let's go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. All right, let's take a look at Twitter right now. Uh, Adam says, if you've got nothing to fear, you've got nothing to hide. Another tweet here says, I hope that Donald Trump claims executive privilege over the Comey testimony. The last shred of credibility will evaporate and there will be an epic legal challenge. Kevin says, I'm as excited for Thursday as a kid anticipating Christmas. A lot of people <laughs> saying that they're going to take off work. Uh, Joel says, uh, if you can get through all of the mentions up there, says Comey already made his bed. I'd love to hear if he has a different story now. Maybe we could reopen all the Clinton criminal cases cleared. And then Defiant Lee says, it's official. I took a vacation day for June 8th so I can watch Comey testify. Yeah, this, Mustafa, is one of the most anticipated uh, <laughs> Uh, thing events it's probably maybe higher watch than the than the Oscars is the way this is going you were just telling me how upset you are that you have to have yeah. something to do I, I, I've got an appointment set up at that point and I can't for the life of me change it so <laughs> so I'm gonna have to uh, DVR it all right we got less than a minute what's gonna happen uh, what's gonna happen as a result of this well a lot of the information is already out I mean uh, some of the memos information has been in the New York Times and the Washington Post we've all kind of heard about it but until you hear James Comey read portions of those memos uh, it doesn't have the emotion impact that it will when when a former FBI director reads it. And he's correct. A lot of the information is out. It proves that our president didn't do anything wrong. You've seen many Democratic leaders saying he didn't do anything wrong. And they better be careful what they wish for because we all know that uh, there was a lot of stuff going on when with the Clinton investigation. So when they wanted Comey to be fired back then and now that our president has done that, 
Now they're they're putting him under fire. Less than 30 seconds. This this FBI thing is like for the president, like the cousin that won't get off your couch and go away. I mean, he wants this debt. He wants it gone. Uh, it, it, it's not going to go away because these are very serious allegations. This is obstruction of justice. This is what Nixon went down for. On top of it, the president hasn't done anything to alleviate the Russia problem that he continues to have. And the not president the president won't go down, but the Democrats will come back with something else that try to impeach him. That's all they're trying to do is to talk to stop the real things and real actions of repeal, repeal and replace and our, our tax. All right, we got to leave it right there. We'll be back in about 20 minutes with another really good topic. Okay, we look forward to that. Thanks so much, guys.